Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe, and I am doing a special edition here this week because it is Thanksgiving. Uh, we are sending this out a little early because of the Thanksgiving holiday. The market is, by the way, open half day on Friday, which is a sort of sadistic and bizarre uh, act of Congress that uh, uh, ma manipulates not only uh, our holiday scheduling generally, but the way markets will function for the, a few hours on a Friday. But I don't expect any of you are going to be paying attention to markets over the weekend. So we just thought we would use this uh, kind of entrance into the long weekend, one of the great weekends in the American calendar, um, celebration of Thanksgiving, to kind of say a couple words to you. I've tried to do this most years, and and um, frankly, it's, it's fun for me to do because there are so many things throughout the year that we would never use in Divin Cafe to come say that we're thankful for. I'm not going to call out the people on my team or some of the various you know, clients and partners and vendors and all the stuff that, you know, that we work with during the weekly Dividend Cafe that we're, we're trying to dive into markets and give analysis and give uh, ideas and so forth. That, that's really the function of this week by week. But it is nice to, to take a breath and be able to comment on, on those things that we have a tremendous amount of gratitude for. Our business is no exception. We, we are a, a growing company that is really frankly humbled and overwhelmed uh, by the support that we've had from our clients, by the, the confidence that our clients give to us. And, and we're extremely blessed by those who we work with to help create the experience for clients that we create. Starting with, with myself, I will say, uh, as the managing partner and the founder of this firm, I'm incredibly grateful for the people I come into the office with each and every day. Um, not, you know, obviously the people I work most directly with, my executive assistant, Kelsey, who works out of our New York office, the investment committee that I'm in, in intertwined with all day, every day, making portfolio decisions. I think Julian and Dea and Brian and Robert are incredible people to work with. But when you look at the client experience that we're giving, the leadership that comes from our managing directors, both Don and, and Kimberly are, are just absolutely phenomenal um, additions to the leadership team here at the company and and uh, we look at uh, the partnership that we have um, it's a really tight group and I've learned a lot from Trevor I hope you listen to his thoughts on money podcast read his thoughts on money blog he's an incredible thought leader uh, this year we had Sean join our private wealth advisor group and he's brought a lot to the table and of course, we welcomed just a couple months ago, Jeff Gregory as our Director of Investment Banking and a significant advisor in our team. Jeff, with over 30 years of professional experience, um, not just for what he can do for clients, not just for who, uh, what he represents to our business, but as a person, he's, he's just really been a wonderful uh, guy to get to know. And, and so I look across the the partnership, the advisor base, and I just am humbled by the fact that I would not have the business that I have if it were not for the wonderful people that I've been blessed to work alongside. And yet at the same time, it's not just those who have equity ownership of the Bonson Group or that are themselves folks that you as clients know, our, our advisory team. Uh, I, I think the various departments we have are filled with total professionals, total servant leaders, and, and people that I've worked with now for many years that I think I'm going to work with for many more years to come. And so our service and operations group, I'm very grateful for Jackie O'Hare has been that director since we started the Bonson Group and has led it into just an incredibly resourced and efficient group for delivering that kind of operational service that clients need day by day. And the team she's built around herself with Alexis and Camille uh, and Beth are really uh, professionals. The strategy and communications group, you know them more than you think you may know them because if you're watching the podcast, watching videos, reading uh, the blogs, the, the articles, the white papers, seeing media appearances that get curated into our various you know, distribution mechanisms, whether it's social media or our website. None of, none of that stuff just happens. It takes a lot of work, and I'm thankful to Brian and Glenn for all their efforts, and we look forward to continuing to try to utilize thought leadership and content creation as a way that we better serve our clients. I've said this for a long time and they've caught that vision early on. 
I view all of this work we do as our moral responsibility as fiduciaries to provide thought leadership that helps guide clients, that is substantive, that is real, and that helps reinforce your confidence and faith in us so that when we go through trying periods as investors, you have kind of built up a fortress and, and we utilize the whole communications platform of our business to help do that. Certainly our traders, our analysts, it's become a very impressive part of our group. We look forward to welcoming a new addition of the team. I'll leave you in suspense on in a couple weeks. But uh, Dea and Julian, our director of equity research, and then uh, Kenny um, has been with us now a couple years. These are just absolutely uh, incredibly thoughtful, smart guys that are all working towards creating a better analytical environment better solutions, due diligence around investment ideas, and, and, old, and also execution, trading, just that investment infrastructure that's so necessary to what we deliver to clients. I mentioned my assistant, Kelsey, my own wife, Jolene, who has uh, been with us now for a couple years trying to drive client experience, more thoughtfulness around our branding and our and our special events, uh, she's as good as they come. And our office manager, Erica, who's just really uh, delivered, I think, a tremendously professional environment for clients to, to come visit and for us to work in day by day. Um, so, gosh, I sure hope I'm not forgetting anyone. That's one thing that's really tricky about the business, having grown so much, is that sometimes I find myself, I still know everybody's name, though, and that will, I'll keep it that way, will never grow to a point where I can't say everybody's name. I have a wonderful team. The Bonson Group is, is a family, and we hope that you find the service we're giving you uh, to meet that kind of criteria that we have and those standards that we expect of ourselves. Um, extraordinary standards, if I if I do say so myself. There are others that play a big role in what we do. I'm not going to go through all the different money managers, but I think a lot of you know that we do not invest client capital with asset managers that we can't build a relationship with, that I can't sit across the desk from, across the table from, and get to know their actual decision makers personally, hedge funds, private equity, fixed income managers. We desire a very close relationship with so we can make sure there's compatibility and trust in who we're uh, investing our client capital with. You steward it to us and we have to steward it well with others. So we're very grateful for the partnerships we have with all these different companies. Um, you know, there is this uh, company in Chicago by the name of Hightower that we utilize very heavily in our um, supervision, uh, 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 back office, technology. Real, I joke with them about this, but it's kind of true. They're doing all the things that we don't want to do. You know, our clients don't care about uh, how our networks are plugged in and, and some of these kind of red tape things, but those things have to be done for us to run an efficient business, and we're very grateful for our partnership with Hightower to help us do what we do in our business, which is serving clients. So I could go on and on, but the thing I wanna close with, even beyond the, the clients that we are so grateful for, for their years of patronage and continued um, opportunity to come alongside them, serve them, help facilitate their financial goals, hear their stories, I am a sucker, for entrepreneurial success. There's something about hearing and preserving and playing a role to some degree in the tales of how people have built better lives for themselves and their family that I absolutely love. And I get to do it every single day with this uh, career that I am blessed to have. Um, beyond the team, beyond some of the outside uh, vendors and partners we work with, uh, I'm incredibly grateful to live in a country that rewards free enterprise, that gives us an ability to participate in free enterprise by investing alongside it in debt and equity capital markets, that enables us to have the freedom to run a business, to give advice to people, to run a profitable business with clients who themselves have achieved um, monetary uh, rewards that need cultivation, preservation, counsel, advice, transfer, uh, you know, all kinds of different verbs that go along with one's own affluence. Um, it's created not only a career that I'm, I'm so blessed with and a business, but the entire ecosystem comes down to the DNA of the country that we live in, where free enterprise 
and material prosperity are rewarded, uh, are, are celebrated, are, are thought of as uh, aspirational. And, and it's something that I know everyone take for granted. I recognize how many places in the world that isn't true. And, and so when we established Thanksgiving as a country, as a national holiday, we did it because we had a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot of abundance in this country, and I'm grateful for that religious freedom, that economic liberty, and, and I'm thankful that we all are, those of you watching this, listening to this right now, and me saying it, we are all beneficiaries of that uh, entire experiment that, that our founding fathers uh, designed. It, it is integral to the investment markets we work in every day and integral to why I say to you, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening to Divin Cafe, the special Thanksgiving message. Enjoy your holiday with your family. We'll come back to boring stuff like the Fed next week. Happy Thanksgiving.